Throws it in the gun. Perkins is right two wide outs each way. Gets the snap. Sets up the screen. Perkins, he makes a catch. It gets lit up by Nate Gary. And a flag comes out. They're going to get Gary for a high hit here. It's going to be a high hit on Gary. Boy, he timed that beautifully and drilled him at the 17-yard line. But hang on or maybe a penalty. Could be a helmet to helmet. And, and could it be another one of those that gets Gary in early exit? Remember, he got ejected at the Iowa game. Personal foul. Targeting. 25. Defense. Boy, I just don't. I just don't play is under further review. I just don't see targeting out of that at all. I see a guy making a big, big tackle. We're seeing it for the first time. Oh, it's and, just a good football play, and, man. You know, it, it's here. Here's the problem with this. Okay, you're, you're putting de- defensive players in a position, and, and he didn't try to lead with his head. He tried to lead with his shoulder. But, it, but because it looks the way it looks, you have officials that are just quick to throw the flag. And here's the problem, Greg. If you're the guy catching the ball out there, was that their running back catching out Perkins, Perkins out yep. of backfield? You think Perkins wants, it, wants to get hit in the kneecap? It could break his leg. It could blow his knee. If you're Perkins, when your quarterback lays you out like that, you're going to... You're either going to get hit high, and it might hurt a little bit, but if he hits you in the knee, it could end your career. And so that's my problem with, with how far we have taken these hits. I just don't know what the defensive player is supposed to do. This was not a malicious hit at all. Was there any contact with that? Maybe a little, but this was not a malicious hit. It's a good football play. They're now reviewing it to see whether Nate Gary will be ejected. He was ejected in the Iowa game. There is no the way there, this is an ejection, Greg. This one barely, he might not have even touched his helmet. He led with his left shoulder. This was not ejectable. Lane? Nate Gary even turned his head at the last second to try to get it out of the way so there wasn't any helmet contact, period. Not just on helmet to helmet, but even on the shoulder pads of Perkins. And we're getting to a point now where you're going to have to let guys catch it, make two or three steps, and then you're just going to have to tackle them around the waist or you're not going to be able to tackle people anymore. Mike Roddy was not happy at all. He was out in the ear hold of a couple of different referees pleading his case. It, it, It... to the naked eye, it was a good football play. And the replays back that up. What I'm getting nervous about is this is a long time. This official's been on the headset down here. Well, hopefully the guy up here is telling him uh, that was a bad call and he's getting chewed out. Because, I mean, look, Perkins caught the ball and had come down with both feet. So at what point does he become a runner and all of that stuff? It's not like he was in the air and Nate Gary no. caught him in the air and planted him. I don't know. This one is not a malicious hit to me. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty and a first down, and I think that's it. They are still discussing this with the official. He still has the headset on. That's The longer this goes, man, I'm just nervous this is going to be the ejection of Nate Gary Lane. Well, here's the other point on that. Nate Gary went in high because if he lowers his head, then it looks like he's got his head down, and that looks like targeting. So he kept his head high, and that's where the helmet contact, if any, actually happened, occurred. All right, we have a decision forthcoming. The headset is off. Here's Ron Cherry. After review, the ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number 25 is disqualified. This has gone too far. As a like not to use a 10-second runoff. I mean, wow. You were right, Greg, and I can't believe it. Yep. I just think this has gone too far. Mike Roddy is hot. This has gone side too far. I, I mean, I just, I feel terrible for Nate Gary. He, he comes up from the safety spot and makes a play. I hope this gets a lot of attention nationally because it, it's a bunch of baloney. Rosen.